Welcome everyone to a replay cast here. We are now in game two of the scrim series between white flag gamers here on the legion side once again taking on the doghouse here on the hellborn side if you just came from watching game number one you saw almost a one hour game where white flag gamers making the comeback there against doghouse and they do eventually take that game number one so pretty excited here for game number two now as we are underway once again with another draft we have the bands completed the picks already starting but we have to go over those bands very quickly we have gemini the chipper and keeper of the forest going to be banned out from the legion side tundra monarch and bombardier are going to be banned from the side of hellborn so quite the mixture of bands there um, targeting a few supports a couple of core or mid heroes, and then we have a Keeper of the Force and a Gemini ban, a jungle slash offlaner, and a carry being targeted. So, quite the mixture of bans there. Um, some of these heroes targeting player uh, comfort heroes specifically. But um, we will have the first pick of the game going to be Andromeda from the side of our Legion team. Lodestone. We will have a Lodestone and Engineer. Engineer coming out from the side of the Hellborn here. So pretty, pretty good start for both sides here. We have picks two and three coming up from the Legion side uh, underway here in response to Lodestone Engineer. I'll just fast forward this quickly. We'll see what they do decide to go with as they enter the reserve time here. But I'm expecting a secondary support and an off laner to be picked here we do see the geomancer and the cthulhu font so they will go with the second support geomancer and what i believe to be the position three here the cthulhu font um we could definitely see a 2-1-2 setup with the geomancer cthulhu font duo offline that's a pretty strong combination both heroes have good damage escapes very suitable for the long lane. We have the Andromeda for the defensive support for the carry hero here. And that would leave the carry in the mid on the last two picks. We see the secondary bands already taking place here. They're almost done. So we'll slow this down in just a second here. As we have one more band from each side. We see so far the Corrupted Disciple. The Wretched Hag and the Pebbles banned away from the Doghouse, so they target two um, two of Sate's heroes there, the Wretched Hag and the Pebbles for mid lane, and then they also get rid of Corrupted Disciple, which could be their position one hero. And then we see Gladiator, Kraken, and Flux banned from the Legion side. They target the mid heroes specifically as... Uh, they don't want to see those, but we have the first two picks coming out of the second wave. You're going to be both the Dr. Repulsor and the Rampage from the side of Doghouse. It's been a while since I've seen their Dr. Repulsor. That is one of Fa's signature heroes. He did get his Gemini band there in the first wave of bands, but Dr. Repulsor, very, very powerful hero if he's able to escape the laning phase and make it out to his icon of the goddess where he starts to snowball and take over games we've seen that before in the past so uh fa he's no stranger to dr repulsor it's one of his most comfortable heroes and we typically see him play dr repulsor mid uh i think it's the most suitable lane at the moment for a doctor he could be ran short lane but against these aggressive dual lanes it's just a nightmare for doctor to deal with so mid lane is probably going to be the safest bet we'll see where he does end up going but they do pick up a rampage as well that will probably be their secondary support we usually see dude play the rampage and they might give the engineer to chris but typically dude also plays the uh engineer so it's it's funny to see two heroes that dude usually plays but at the same time I think there's only one Rampage player in the Doghouse's team, and that's got to be Duder. But the fourth and fifth picks for the Legion side are going to be Bubbles and Sandwraith. So they're going to pick up another Initiator with the Bubbles there. 
and uh, he would do a great job against the Doctor if that does align to be a matchup for the mid lane. I think Bubbles would do great. Uh, and then they have the Kelfield to hold everybody in place for the Sandwraith Mirage. So they will go with the Sandwraith carry here against the Doctor. But uh, last pick of the game going to be Balfagor for Snooki. He picks that on the last pick. They don't have the best counter push coming in, but they do have some pretty decent team fighting heroes. I will say the Sandwraith is going to need a while to come online before he, be get before he gets really scary. And there is a timing here for the Dr. Pulsar Balfagor lineup where they get an, uh, a one key item on each side and they're just going to start steamrolling towers and team fights. And I think it could be really scary for them if they do well in the laning phase here on the side of Hel Hellborn that they could take a really big advantage uh, going into the mid game. But uh, I think it's safe to say Legion will need to do well in their lanes and get Sandwraith to a point where he's comfortable here in game two. Otherwise, this could be... What I believe to be a really quick, well, I don't want to say quick game, but at the, but I want to say like Hellborn's team has the potential to snowball really fast. Whenever you're against a Balfagor, if you let him get a good start and he starts taking one or two towers, all of a sudden five and six towers have fallen and he just snowballs his team in GPM. And Dr. Repulsor, who normally struggles in lane, all of a sudden has items and he just becomes this... I don't want to say unstoppable for us, but they don't have the best ways to catch him. Like, he can avoid trample pretty easily. He can avoid dig pretty easily. Comedy can disjoint. The, the best catch they have is bubbles. And it's not like hard CC. It just kind of disrupts him. So I feel like Doctor could do really well this game. But he might get punished in the leaning phase. This is going to be the weakest part for him, I feel like. He's going up against the Bubbles. If Bubbles can really shut him down, it's going to be looking really good, I would say, for White Flag Gamers here. But enough of those, uh, enough of the talk about Doctor. We have a tri lane here Lodestone, Engineer, and Rampage, uh, leaving the other two heroes solo in the mid and top lane against the Sandwraith and the um, Andromeda. And we see the Balfagor trying to delay the wave here with the Corpse Conversion. The ascension is we, I missed the bloodlust kill. Okay. So they use the rocket drill and the keg stun. Rampage gets the uh, the horn strike there. We see the port down from the geomancer. They're gonna try lane with the sand wraith here. Duder's already making his way down to mid lane. See lodestone taking a combat stun here. They got a great start from Hellborn. They get the bloodlust on the sand wraith. Dude's gonna be kind of pesky here. Two bubbles. He's gonna come and he's gonna horn him and he's gonna piss him off. He's gonna force out a shell serve. So, Cthulhu Font is alone against the Balfagor for now, but Duder's gonna make his way up here. He's just roaming around. Doesn't have boots picked up yet, but he's just gonna continue to be annoying. Of course, currently level two. Gonna throw out a horn strike there on the Cthulhu font. Eats the tree. He's gonna horn him again. How is the Doctor versus Bubbles going? Six and one Bubbles against eight and two Doctors. The Doctor's doing really well in creep farm. He gets the bottle very early on. He gets the trees given to him by Rampage as well. Rampage kind of chasing the Cthulhu Fawn around. We see the Regen going to be camped here by Volca. He's going to take that on the Cthulhu Fawn. Maybe try to set up something on the Doctor. Yeah. If Doctor steps up down the ramp, it could be in some trouble here. Yeah. I think he knows the Cthulhu Fawn is... Uh, is, is mid or he would not be playing like this. He's very well aware. Just trying to get experience here. Rampage is making his way over. But again, I don't think they can necessarily fight. Doctor's gonna get silenced up here. Good pressure coming in from Bubbles. Bottom lane, they do take out the Geomancer. This is still a 
Three versus two laying down here. Valfagor now getting a lot of space as Cthulhuphon has rotated out. And I don't know if it was wise of Volca to leave the top lane, because now Valfagor is going to... Uh, He's going to escape his weak laning phase as well. Starting to get levels. Here comes the charge from Rampage. Here comes the Regurgitate from Balfagor. And that means Rampage is going to get the stun. He's going to get horned. He's trying to body block him. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Snooki feels like he can get the kill here. He's going to throw out another Regurgitate. Oh, great corpse blocking. And it's actually going to be enough damage for a kill. You got to be kidding me. I didn't think they had enough damage there, but Rampage assisting for that kill. And they take out the Cthulhu font. He is now only 86 GPM on the Cthulhu font. That's massive. Snooki all the, all the way up to 365 gold per minute. Now continues to dominate this lane now. Doctor gets an invisibility rune. He's not doing that bad considering all the rotations that have been happening here. He's 250 GPM bubbles, is 270. He's on 18 and 3 versus 17 and 3. Almost feels like bubbles should be winning this mid lane a little bit more. He's going to give the invis over to Rampage. It's level 5 here. He's maxing out the magnetic contraption. He's going to horn him up. There's the silence. I don't think he's going to charge there, it's just too risky, he'll die to the tower. But uh, we see he's going to stack the jungle here, he'll probably work on some jungle stacks. And he'll go back to the mid lane. Haven't really talked too much about bottom lane, but Sandwraith is on 33 and 11. Uh, Lodestone is on 6 and 0. Oh. Engineer on 2 and 0. Oh. So Sandwraith completely free farming down here with the supports staying down here. Here's a stun on the Andromeda. Engineer throws out a mine. There's a Comet stun. Engineer should fall here. It's gonna be just fine. Andromeda trades his life. Oh, I uh, missed this one. Looks like Doctor went down, but he did get the kill on the Geomancer. Doctor's still level 5. Bubbles did use the Cal Field there. He's almost level 7. Rampage. Is he going to live here? Sandwraith throws out the Sandstalkers. Oh, Sandwraith's going to go down here. They do trade Rampage for Sandwraith. That's a great trade. Geomancer comes in and snipes out the Lodestone Engineer. Probably going to fall here as well. Actually, no, I think he's fine. Geomancer has Dick Stun. Oh, he actually didn't stun right away. But he's going to fall regardless. We have a 6 to 5 hero kill lead in favor of Hellborn. Andro's going to maybe survive. No, he goes down to the creeps. Geomancer going to go down. Double tap comes in for Mr. Duder there on the rampage. He's only 150 GPM, but he's getting the job done. Doctor gets level 6. They're going for the kill here on the Cthulhu font. I think Doctor should fall here. There's the port in from Sandwraith. Calfield locks down. Balfagor Bubbles maybe going to fall here. He's trying to man up on the Sandwraith. There's a Comet stun on the Rampage. Alphagor and Sandwraith going at it. He throws out the Regurgitate, but Sandwraith is going to get that kill. Thulafont tramples. The creeps take out the Sandwraith there from the Balfagor. And it's going to be a pretty good trade. So where will we see Balfagor go? He picks up the Energizer. Looks like he's porting back to the top lane. He wants to take this tower, I would imagine. Probably one of my favorite skins in Han is the Baker Balfagor. Whippa! 
Fuck, they're gonna go for the top rune here. It's gonna get collapsed on by a lot of players. Two minutes are gonna stun him up. There's a Cthulhu on stun, the Comet. They're gonna take out Doctor. Four players here. They're gonna try to steal his jungle stacks as well. 220 GPM on the Doctor. But while this is going on, Balfagor is still doing good. Bubbles up to 400 gold per minute. Sandwraith has Mirage in 20 seconds. Geomancer are currently activating the Geostock. They're gonna find Engineer here. Rocket Drill goes in on the Sand Wraith. There's a swap though from Andromeda. He takes the Kegstone instead of the Sand Wraith. And Engineer going to fall. Shadowstorm going to explode here. Hits the Geomancer, but no follow up to that Shadowstorm. He does bonk the Sand Wraith, but Bubble Sports in. They do take out both the Engineer and the Lodestone. Meanwhile, Balfagor takes out the tower in the top lane. We see him very deep behind the lines here. It's Geomancer. He's gonna get silenced up. There's the regurgitate and the ultimate there. So much damage from the Balfagor. As they take out the Geomancer. Where is Sandwraith boarding? He's going for the Doctor. He's got a double damage rune. Doctor's looking to turn it around on the Sandwraith and he's gonna get the kill there. That double damage rune making a big difference. Sandwraith going to fall. And it's a huge gold boost to the Doctor now. As I believe that's going to get him his uh, sorcery boots to build towards his icon. Oh, Doctor going to fall here. Bubbles comes in with a snipe. Really well played there from Bubbles. With this uh, ward of sight placed by the Geomancer. Takes cover the, uh, the rampage, but he gets stunned up by the Engineer. He's going to shell surf to safety. And they still have not addressed the Balfagor. He does push the tier 2 tower here. That's going to give a lot of gold over to his team. He, uh, or they are up 3,400 gold right now as he picks up the Gnome's Wisdom. And man, he is pretty hard to deal with. He's 520 gold per minute right now. He's going to go for a kill on the Andromeda. Will it be enough damage for a kill? He's going to use the Hell on New Earth just to take him out. Philfont's going to line up a trample. Bubbles coming in as well as the Geomancer. There's the Kel Field. He should end up falling here. He will go down. It's an ultimate warrior streak for the Bubbles. Lodestone. I don't know if he has enough. He's going to go for the, uh, the Shatter Storm here. He's going to stun up the Sand Wraith. There's the charge from Rampage, and Sandwraith is going to fall. Meanwhile, Doctor and Engineer take out the bubbles. Andro is not able to get a swap off. There's the payback coming in for Doctor. He should have the Glowstone now toward the Icon. There's the Glowstone pickup. Uh, going to stack the camps and then pick, to pick up the top rune. He has recovered very well here. Uh, big kills on both the Sandwraith and the Bubbles, giving him a lot of GBM boost. Plus the tower kills, he's up to 380 gold per minute. Meanwhile, we have the aggressive swap on the Engineer. They take him out with the Gym Mancer as well. But yeah, Doctor is recovering very, very well here. And, uh... It's almost at the Icon of the Goddess. <laughs> Too far gonna treble up the rampage here. Rampage gonna go down. Let's start in some trouble now. He's gonna get the rocket drill off. There's the mirage. He pours in, takes out the lodestone. Engineer gonna avoid the shell surf there. It's gonna be fine. I think Balfagor might work on some base damage here. 
Pop the Energizer with the Armor Boots. He's gonna force out the Glyph. Man, he was thinking about manning up there on the TP. He gets them to cancel it. Tier 1 Tower going to fall in favor of White Flag Gamers, but... Balfagor is at the base, and you gotta start to address this guy. He's gonna take down the base tower if they leave him up here any longer. So on's another set of corpses, and forces Geomancer to come defend the tower. This tower is almost down here. Tower is going to fall, and looks like Snooki's gonna fall back. He's got them to rotate as Cthulhuphon and Geomancer were here. Wondering what he's gonna go for next, as uh, he's got 1600 gold saved up. Did see something like a Staff of the Master or a Spell Shards. Not, not too sure what he's gonna go for, but I think Staff would make a lot of sense. He's gonna port out to the bottom lane. Looks like he wants to push the bottom towers now. Dr. Repulsor should have enough gold for his icon. Just needs to go to the base and split the sorcery boots. I'll probably pick up vestments as well if I if I know Fa. I think he will value the magic armor here. Gonna buy the icon. There's the vestments. <laughs> Call that one. He goes for the red boots vestments with the icon. Now he wants to probably join and fight. He's going to spot Sandwraith up here. He's being charged by Rampage. He's going to fly in. This could be a solo kill. He's going to pour it out to the bottom lane where Snooki takes him out. Uses the hell on Newerth. He's going to get swapped there by Andromeda. Crystal Field going to miss. Andromeda is going to fall. He does get her Comet Stun off. Now he spawns the corpses. Shatterstorm is going to miss from low sun. He gets the portal key picked up, but Geomancer does dig stun away. He's thinking about maybe going back in. Balfagor is on the chase, but might turn his attention toward the tower now. He's looking to go in on the Geomancer. He's going to take him out. It's Cthulhuphon. Not a whole lot he could do there. He's going to trample in on the Balfagor. There's the silence from Bubbles. Takes cover the rocket drill. There's the hell on New Earth. The silence coming in. He's going to take out the Bubbles and Cthulhuphon. Will he also fall? He's going to survive on 40 life. Lodestone going to go in. Survives with 13 health. One more auto attack. Lodestone does go down to the tower. Rampage might get him here. He's going to get Comet stunned up. Cthulhuphon will be just fine. Octor's gonna snipe out the Cthulhu font there. Doctor gonna use the opposite charge there on the uh, Chiamancer as Andromeda to get taken out by the Engineer and the Rampage. They take another tier 1 tower here. Balfagor has half of his staff of the Master. I think he could finish the staff here. He's so farmed. He's uh, 610 gold per minute on the Balfagor. Dr. Repulsor probably going to need to regen at base, but going to find himself a Merix rune. Actually goes for the gnomes. I find that weird considering Balfagor already had gnomes for quite a while. I'm going to go on the GMs here. He's going to get the dicks done to safety. And Andromeda could be in some trouble. There's a Kelfield connecting onto two. Shatterstorm being channeled here by the Lodestone. Balfagor taking some heavy pressure. There's the Ding Ding. The Hell on Newer doing so much damage. And they will bring down the Cthulhu Font. Andromeda going to get dove here by the Doctor Repulsor. It is a legendary streak for the Balfagor. And there's the Concede Bow coming out. I don't know if they should give up just yet, but the Genies are being called. And it looks like Legion. Might have had enough here in game number two. Doghouse gonna take this one at the 17 minute mark with this large lead they have built themselves. Balfagor, what a force to be reckoned with. 600 gold per minute. Vafish finishes on 500 gold per minute on the Dr. Repulsor. He had such a poor start to this game number two. But since the laning phase recovered amazingly, he had 129 creep kills. He was level 13 with 500 GPM. A lot of that 
due to the Balfagor pushing towers as well. But really well played here from Doghouse in game two. They will take this one and thus concluding the replay cast here for game number two.